nether. Yeah, that is a lot of lava. And fire. And other things that could burn you to death. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's a drop. That is very, very much a drop. Talking about new guy. What drop? Oh crap! You weren't kidding. Everybody, hold on! Welcome back, guys, to Minecraft Story Mode. My name is Brinton. <laughs> and welcome back to some more of this incredible game. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and ah! And we're going crazily through this mine path that the Order of the Stone has created to get to who knows where. Um, and we're on our way to, and we're on our way to it. Um, I guess we're gonna hit the switch. And R2, hell yeah! Uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks again for, uh, thanks again for watching. Um, I really wanted this video, these videos to be out, uh oh, last week. And I just feel so bad that I had to re-record this. But I'm glad that they're finally getting done and get getting these out on the internet, that is for sure. Um, no, 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 skeleton, leave Ruben alone. How on earth is a regular skeleton in my, in, in the nether? I thought, there we go. I thought it should, like, it should have been, like, shouldn't it be, like, zombie pigmen holding? I don't know. Or maybe, like, withers? I, I don't know what to tell you. Ah, ghast! Uh, three ghast. Whoa, down. Oh, sweet. You can deflect the flame. I don't think you can actually deflect the flames back in regular Minecraft. I don't think it works like that. <laughs> but nice try. There we go. That was not too bad. But where is the rest of our group? Um. gas. <laughs> Never need to see them. The Nether is full of gas, my friend. So. Holy crap. You're going to be seeing plenty of them. Holy crap. <laughs> that is definitely going to be a thumbnail. That is that's for sure. Oh, hey guys. Is everyone okay? Not dead. I guess that's pretty good. Ditto. Ditto. The not dead. I just can't believe that Petra comes down here all the time. This place is awful. <laughs> There's just awesome stuff to... We were lucky to survive. We're just... You know, there's cool stuff done in another. That's why she probably does it. We were just lucky to make it out alive. That's more than most people can say. Their bones are probably still sizzling away in that lava down there. Wow. Morbid. <laughs> he has a point. That is... That is quite morbid, Jesse. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Throw up like inside your body. Uh huh. Ew. I know because I just did about five times. Ew. Look at this place. All these tracks converge at this point. You could probably get anywhere in the world from here. There's the portal. This is what Gabriel was talking about. That's our way out. It must lead back to the surface. The surface is also where that creature is. He's right. We have no idea what we're walking into. It could be dangerous. It's a risk we're just gonna have to take, you guys. It's just a risk we're gonna have to take. Thanks for being so brave, Axel. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going. I'm going right now. Like right, right now. Stop stalling. stalling. You said you would go. Don't rush me, okay? Here I go. Right behind you. Be safe up there, Axel. Ready or not, here I come. All right, you guys. Let's do this. Let's return to the surface. Get off of me! 
All right, let's take out this zombie. And done. Oh, man. Oh, I did it. My heart's replenished. That's nice. <laughs> I'd obviously already knew that, but. Going first again. <sighs> that was a really weird sigh. I have no idea why I sighed, but, <laughs> but I sure did. And I sighed well. Maybe we should bed down for the night. It's dangerous to be out when it's just dark. I thought we were headed toward a temple. We're looking for a giant building. It should be pretty obvious. Ivor said... No, Ivor said... Well, then maybe this is the temp... I'm being sarcastic. Axel, come on. Take it. Come on, cut it out, Axel. Call me stupid. No, I didn't. But you are. He actually didn't. No, I didn't. Huh? Did you say something? We have to build... Quit being a jerk. I... I agree with Jesse, we need to make a shelter right now. There's zombies and the spiders. They're running around everywhere. We gotta protect ourselves. I say we build a tree house. That'll take forever and we'll be exposed while we do it. We just need a quick and dirty hut. Look, whatever it is, we gotta do it fast. What? <laughs> Let's just build a hut. It's there's so much of dirt we could do it quick. It's not That's it, Olivia. Jesse made the call. We should get started. I am just getting tons of text messages right now. <laughs> All right, let's build this hut. All that work? And we're still eye level with monsters that are trying to kill us. It's done. It's over. We aren't talking about it anymore. We could have maybe done like a multi-level thing, but that's too late now. I mean, it's it's cool. Let's keep it together, guys. Quit complaining. Let's just get inside. It's the best you got. Oh, man. What? I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise not to freak out. What is it? I have cookies. Ooh. One for me, one for Olivia, one for Jesse. Thanks, Axel. And one for Reuben. Rude. I only have four. Oh, no, it's, it's all right. I'm not that hungry anyway. Jesse can share a cookie with Reuben. We're gonna give Lucas his own cookie. No, no, I, I, I can't do that. Take the damn cookie, Lucas. Thank you, Jesse. That was for you, Jesse, not him. Who cares? Calm down. Why is Axel so mad about this? I just don't get it. A hundred chicken-sized zombies, or ten zombie-sized chickens. <laughs> Choose wisely. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Let me think. How can you guys joke at a time like this? Petra... What the hell? She's all by herself. There's nothing funny about that. Can't just Gotta stay positive. Or spirit tie. No, we should be moping. That's exactly what we should be doing. What the hell? I'm right, right? No. But she's going to be fine. What makes you think that? She has to be. Fine. Then, uh, we should get some rest. We gotta start looking for this temple as early as we can. Now, my guess is if we start at the portal and kind of split Whoa, up... Oh, what are you doing? Did I do something to you? I'd really like to know. Because you keep getting on my case for what seems like no reason. He's just trying to Lucas is just trying to help Jesse. Axel shut up. Sorry, Jesse. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to this guy telling us what's what. I'm just trying to get ready for tomorrow. You're the I completely one agree with you, Lucas. Don't tell us what to do. Take that back. Can't. Wouldn't. You know Damn. What? I get to wear this jacket because I know how to build. But that doesn't mean I don't know how to break things. Your threats don't scare me now that we know how you really are. Jesse, your friend is way out of line. I wasn't going to bring it up, but I can only take so much. Axel, back off. Easy, Axel. 
Easy? He threatened me. He's not gonna do anything. Haven't you done enough damage for one day? Petra might be dead because of you. You're taking this too far, Axel. I completely agree with Olivia. Why don't I just leave and let you guys hash this out? You can't leave. It's dangerous out there. I can take care of myself. It's You're staying with us. Right? Let Lucas, leave. don't be stupid. You're not going anywhere. But Jesse, that's enough. We're all on the same team now. He's staying. And that is that. We're not having a discussion about this anymore. Zombie-sized chickens. That's what I would fight. Why is that? <laughs> because I'm starving. And it starts to rain. How perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lucas wanted to leave. He would have been caught in the rain. Sorry about all this. Honestly, I'm just... I'm more embarrassed than anything else. Wait, why? Hey! There's something over that way! What is it? Some kind of building, I think. Let's get a closer look. Oh cool, we get to climb a vine wall. Oh, look at that. This has to be the place. What is this place? That's what we're trying to figure out. It's the Temple of the Order of the Stone. Lucas, are you sure? He's right, look. Holy crap. Do you think they're in there? Let's go in and find out. Let's just all be careful. Okay. If you spot anything, call it out. We don't have a lot of time. Isn't it weird how dispensers are carved to look like spooky little faces? <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed that before. Feeling that we don't really want to find out. Get behind me. All right, there's some creepy stuff going on here. Uh, let's. Can I walk a little faster? There we go. Sorry, I don't want to. I don't want to walk down that hallway so super slow. Uh oh, Ruben, no! That's probably not a good thing. Oh come on, dispenser faces. I thought we were friends. Run! Uh oh! Whoa! 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 Crap, I got hit in the leg. Whoa! Whoa! I've missed a few action commands this episode. I hope that doesn't affect the the outcome of the rest of the game. <laughs> because honestly, that would suck a lot. If we can figure out a way to trigger it again, I bet that'll shut them off. There's a crafting table. Maybe we can make something useful. Out of what? We don't have anything. All of our tools and materials are back home. All right, everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see what we've got to work with. I have a few sticks left over from building the shelter last night. I've got some flint and a piece of string. All I have are some chicken feathers I picked up after that chicken machine exploded. Well, let's see, I've got some flint and steel, a sword. Oh, and some string from a spider that I fought. String, sticks, flint, and feathers. Okay, so we get to craft again! Um, so obviously we're gonna make a bow and arrow. That is what our plan is. So let me go ahead and get these sticks down um, and grab the string and make a bow. 
And then I need to just make an arrow. So one of these, one of these, and a feather. Let's do this. And then we're going to use the arrow to hit the pressure plate. Done. All right. The order of the pink. Blood. I love when they smile. I don't know. It just makes them. Oh, I just love this game so much. You guys, I really, really love. I'm loving this so much. And I just cannot wait for episode two. And just like the rest of the series. This. Telltale just knows how to make Minecraft. Like, just knows how to make games. They're just, I mean, yeah, they may like, yeah, their updates may not always be as soon as I would like it to be, but they know how to tell stories. And that's what I love about it. They know how to tell a good story. Not useful, but definitely interesting. There is a lot of history in this room. Okay, let's make our way. Nope, I don't think we're going... Oh, wait. What's up here? The battle was fierce, but the Order of the Stone emerged triumphant, saving the land and ensuring that peace and prosperity would reign forever. Well, not exactly forever. These <laughs> five members, five friends... Together would give so much to gain their rightful place as five heroes. They what? Would author their own end. They would slay a dragon. Ivor was a member of the Order of the Stone. What? Stone never mentioned him. This is so crazy. This might explain why Ivor had such a grudge against Gabriel. They lied. It does explain that. They lied to the whole world. Why would they do this? Man, I can't believe you punched a member of the Order of the Stone. <laughs> crazy. The Order might not be what we thought they were, but Petra is still out there. That monster is still out there. Jesse's right. We need to focus on what we came here to do. Where do these stairs go? Hopefully someplace with less flying arrows. Yeah, I don't blame you, Jesse. I mean, it's my fault you got hit in the leg with an arrow, but <laughs> I do not blame this you. This is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? More like what happened to this whole place. This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out, then. Is something supposed to happen? <laughs> There's got to be something we're missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. All right, so now we get to do a little more interacting. Let's go ahead and talk to Axel. What you looking at? Nothing. Whatever. Axel? I was just trying to figure out where Petra might be. I mean, I know she's gonna be fine, but I was just curious. We're gonna find her. Don't worry, Axel. He's probably just mad because he's worried about her. He probably has a crush on her, let's be honest. It's a map of the entire world. This is way nicer than the one at Endercon. <laughs> it's probably more detailed. I mean, it's the Order of the Stones map. Let's talk to Lucas. Find anything interesting in that book? The only thing I've found so far is that the amulet was used to track the positions of the members of the Order. And does it mention how? It's less technical and well, more historical. Okay, let us, um, I wanna, is there an, yeah, there's an interaction for Reuben. Let's talk to our good old pig. Hey Reuben, find any clues? <laughs> Wah wah. Let's let's talk to what Olivia really quick. The Order of the Stone, the Order's actual temple. Who'd have thought it, huh? A bunch of small towners like us wrapped up in an adventure like this. Yeah, it's pretty anything's insane. possible. Hope we all come out the other side in one piece. 
Let's look at the pedestal. It's the same as the amulet. Put amulet on. And then got to walk around over here. Which one's to turn on and off? Oh my gosh. I still need to do that last one. Is it this? Oh my gosh, finally. Wow. That took a while. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. How did they build this? Okay, now I'm impressed. This looks like some sort of tracking system. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do know. It's trying to tell us something, that's for sure. There are only two heroes left that we know what we need to do. Petra's relying on us. That Witherstorm is still out there. We know that Gabriel was trying to tell us something. We've got to find the Order of the Stone. But there are only two whites. There are only two members of the Order left? He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus. Or Eligard. Well, let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. What? If I know Petra, she's probably doing everything she can to find this place. She's still out there. She has to be. We might need your help out there. You should come with us. No, you don't need me. This is where I should be. If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Go, get help. I'm going to focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're going to have a chance at fortifying it, I'm going to need some help. If uh, maybe one of you guys can hang back with me. Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? We need Eligard. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. Obviously, the smart thing to do is to go get Magnus. I... <laughs> I think Axel meant Eligard there, Jesse. <laughs> um, the thing is, I don't think, like, we can't destroy it because its command box is completely covered. So I completely agree with Olivia when we should be getting, searching out Eligard first. Axel, you stay here with Lucas and get the place ready for when Petra shows up. What, with that guy? I'm right here? Come on, Axel. For Petra's sake. Fine, I'll do it for Petra. I'll take it. boy, Axel. Plus, you've just been so annoying this episode. I really don't want to deal with you in episode two. I'd rather go after Eligard. <laughs> uh oh. Please hurry. Jesse and Olivia return to the Nether, intent on finding Eligard, the Redstone Engineer. And find themselves in a place of mechanical marvels, Redstone rarities. Amazing machines, limited only by the imagination of their brilliant creator. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake. Time is running out for our intrepid heroes.
All right, guys. Like every Telltale game, they show you your choices at the end of the episode compared to um, the rest of the players who've played this game. So it looks like I was in the minority. Yeah, actually, almost 50-50 um, for, for that first one. We'll just go back and, because they did it so quickly. So almost 50-50. Um, oh, that makes sense. I should have sent him away. Um, I was, let's see, you, I was in the minority. I went to go save Lucas instead of alerting, alerting Gabriel first. Um, and then I was in the my majority for saving Petra instead of Gabriel. Uh, huge majority decided to keep Lucas at the shelter instead of throwing him out. And the majority again to seek Eligard first instead of Magnus. So usually they play the credits before they show you your choices. So I'm not going to have you all sit here and watch, and watch the credits. I'll just make this a really quick ending. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me for episode one. As I stated in part one, I do not know when episode two is going to come out. I do follow Telltale on Twitter. Uh, it's the only reason how I knew this game was coming out. And I'm pretty sure based on how based on the time between episode one and two. It won't be until sometime in February when you see um, episode two of Minecraft story mode. But I absolutely love this game. The characters are incredible. The story's great. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what happens next and how the rest of this is all going to play out. So I hope you guys join me then. Subscribe so that you can. And don't forget to leave a like, it really, really helps me out, and I'll help other people enjoy this story as well, especially since it's being played by a gay guy. And thank you so much again for watching, and I'll catch you all next time for episode two. Bye!